Hi everyone, this is Mr. Applebaum again. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own copy of the Utopia slideshow template in the Works Cited page for your Utopia project. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google Classroom. By clicking on Classwork, you will see that there is an assignment called the Utopia slideshow and Works Cited page. We're going to view assignment and look at the instructions. Now, this is just a sample class. Your class will have your class name on it. The important thing to do is to choose somebody within your team who is the point person for your Utopia project. If you're doing this project by yourself, you are the point person for your team of one. If you are in a group of up to four people, choose somebody who is reliable in your team and who has a good grasp of using technology. So what you're going to do is follow the instructions on this page in order to create your own copy of the project that you can share with your teammates and then also with me. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to open the part that says Applebaum Utopia Slideshow Template. So remember, if you are one of Ms. Flaherty's students, your template will have different due dates on it. As one of my students, what you're going to be doing is clicking on the template. By clicking on it, it'll open up the Utopia template. Now, right now, this is in view only mode for students. In order for you to have a copy that you and your teammates can edit, what you need to do is go to File, Make a Copy, then select Entire Presentation. You're going to name it your last name, then the members of your team's name. The period that you are in, and then Utopia Slideshow. And clicking this will open up a new version that is yours to use. Now, once you have your version that you're able to edit, the first thing you want to do is share it with your teammates and with your English teacher. So to share it, you're gonna click on share in the upper right-hand corner. Now, you're gonna be using the school emails for your teammates not your personal email accounts. This needs to be the at student.sanjuan.edu account. So for example, right now I'm going to share it with some other teachers. I'm using their school email and not their personal email. So the other people in my group are Ms. Flaherty, Mr. Alvarez, and Ms. Takamoto. Now I can click send to share the file with them. Anybody that you share this with will have access to edit and also manipulate the file. Only share this with people within your team and your teachers. Do not share it with other people. You can look to see if somebody else made edits in your slideshow in case somebody vandalizes it. If somebody has messed with your slideshow, please let your English teacher know so they can look and see who has accessed the file and who has made which changes. Now, after you've typed out the names of your teammates, make sure that you also share it with your English teacher. Obviously, I can't share the file with myself, but you would type in joseph.applebaum at sanjuan.edu if you were one of my students. All right, by sharing it with your teacher, me or Ms. Flaherty, you will be able to have them look at the file, leave comments on it, uh, and also be able to grade it. So then click send and you'll share the template with them. Now let's take a look at this template. So this template is very, very bare bones. This is like a skeleton of your Utopia slideshow. When you make it, you're obviously gonna be making it a lot prettier 
than the, this template that I've created for you. But what it has is the due dates for when it is due. Again, this is the slideshow for my students, Mr. Applebaum's students, Ms. Flaherty's students will have different due dates on theirs. It'll have the questions that you'll need to explain, and it'll also tell you where I would recommend putting a picture. You can also put other pictures in your slideshow uh, as long as you're making the citations for them, which Ms. Flaherty will be going over in another video. But some of the required pieces of art include the flag that you and your team are designing. Now, each category is broken down to have all the required sections. And each slide tells you when that slide is due. When you are taking this uh, template apart and changing it to your own liking, you can delete those. You don't need to worry about leaving those slideshow uh, due dates in there. But going through, it has all the information you need to know, right? For instance, this uh, employment or jobs section, I put an area here where you might want to put the picture of what their uniform looks like, right? Same for the money that you designed. Now, in your science classes, you will be making the slides for technology, environment slash climate, and power source. You can copy and paste the slideshows that you make in your science class into the slides here in your English class slideshow. So you double dip on your points. And that takes you to the end of the template. Now, the next part I'm going to show you is how to create and share the Works Cited page. Once you click back to the assignment page on Google Classroom, what you're going to want to do is click on the Google Doc, not the Google Slide, but the Google Doc. And this is called the Applebaum Utopia Citation page. This is also known as your Works Cited page. So clicking on that will open up a, another copy that you can view only that'll allow you to make your own version. What you're going to want to do to take it out of view only mode to make your own is to go to File, then make a copy. You're going to label it again with your name and your teammates' names. Period that you're in, and then works cited. And you're going to click OK, and it'll create the version for you. Now, once you've created your new copy, there's a few more edits that you're going to need to make to personalize it. Obviously, you're going to want to put in your name, your teammates' names, and then which class period that you're in. And once you've done that, you'll be able to fill out the rest of your Works Cited page. You'll also, again, need to share it with all the other people within your team. and also your English teacher. Again, please make sure that you are using your school ID or your student.sanjuan.edu email address, not your personal email address. Okay, and then we'll click send and that will share it with your teacher and your teammates. Again, if you are doing this project by yourself, you only need to share it with your English teacher. Now, how do you fill out your Works Cited page? Ms. Flaherty is gonna show you in our next video. So please go and watch that video about the Works Cited page hosted by Ms. Flaherty.